Hi there, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're working on our Stormtroopers from Star Wars Legion. And uh, yeah, I'm actually pretty stoked about getting the uh, the ubiquitous, amazing, legendary bad guys uh, of sci-fi and getting them into the game here. So i um, very excited about painting these guys. On a side note, the color scheme is going to be super simple, uh, very, very easy to do and pull off. So uh, again, very excited about seeing these guys on the table. And um, I can talk about how much I love the models. I did a review. Uh, the models are great. Uh, you know, they're a really cool scale. They're not like heroic size. So they look like um, the stormtroopers that you'd see in the movies. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to stop talking. I'm just going to prime these guys and let's get painting them. All right, so we've got our friends all primed up in Korax white here. Uh, I'm now going to go in with two thin coats of white scar over top of that primer. Um, normally, you can just paint right on. Uh, I get it. But the, the G-Dub primer, um, it's not that it's inconsistent, but it tends to be a little bit um, slippery at times, I guess, is the best kind of word for it. Very smooth. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go over top with um, a couple thin coats of white scar here. And the point of this is, again, just to kind of add a little bit of stability to the texture of our of our friends. So uh, I'm just going to go over top like this. You'll see that it's also a much lighter uh, kind of color as well. Uh, and it'll really brighten up the model because uh, what we're going to be doing with our shading is just going in and doing recess shading. So it's not going to be like an all over wash. So you can see that the paint is quite thin down here. Uh, make sure it doesn't go on too thick. Uh, otherwise, um, you could be uh, asking for a bit of trouble there. Okay, so we've thrown that extra layer of the white scar on there, and it's uh, made them a little bit brighter, sure. Now, normally I would paint the rest of the models uh, the major colors, and there's not a lot here. But what I'd like to do is just take a little bit of time and do a wash of the white armor first. Now, normally, again, I, I paint all the base colors on, and I do one wash, and everything's good. But... There's so much white and so much detail. It doesn't have that kind of GW overpronounced detail to it. So there's some things I want to identify. For example, uh, where the gloves are and where the little panel uh, on the uh, on the on the top of the hand is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my wash here, and I'm going to just kind of pick out some of the details uh, on the models here. So starting with the squad leader, uh, I'm going to use my uh, wash here. Now, um, one of the things I want to make sure that I'm doing in, in a big way is making sure that I'm not overdoing the wash. I don't want a very dirty or dark looking uh, stormtrooper here. So I'm going to use this custom wash that I've got. And it is 25% uh, null oil. Uh, it's 25% Agrax Earthshade to make it look a little bit dirty. And the other half is 50% uh, floor wax. So just basic everyday floor wax, and um, it, the floor wax, uh, the floor wax acts as a flow aid. Now, when I go in here and I pick out an edge or a corner or a detail, you can see that it flows right in, and it doesn't really pool up at all as we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take this wash and fill in. Uh, all of the little cracks uh, that are in here. Now, I'm not going to wash the whole model. I'm just going to go around where the detailed bits are. Now, as I mentioned, the hands are going to be one of the spots where I'm really going to want to define where the armor is and where the hand is. So I'm just applying a little bit of, of a wash, almost like a discovery as to where that gap that spacing is. And this is going to be especially important on the helmet. Uh, because we're going to be coming in with a little bit of color after, I definitely want to see where the dividing lines are. And with the white primer, it's a little bit difficult sometimes to see what areas need to be filled in. Okay, so after the wash, they're looking a little gross, but uh, soldiering forward here. Uh, the next step, we're going to be working on the black. Now that we can see all of the, um, you know, all of the kind of the details and where the gloves start and the armor begins, things like that, um, this is kind of the time to move on to black. Now, uh, black is never really black. It's, 
It's kind of uh, either a shaded gray uh, so that you can see those levels of detail. Uh, black is very difficult to kind of to kind of shadow or low light. Um, or you deal with straight black and then when you wash it, uh, obviously nothing happens. And then you go over top with like a deep gray, like an Eschen gray here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do the easiest of the two methods and we're going to take Eschen gray. Uh, we're going to do all of the black highlights and then we're just going to uh, basically just wash that down so it's not as uh, so that it's not as, uh, as 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 light so we'll still see all the uh, low lights we'll still see all the detail in there and it's going to be awesome so um, what I'm going to do now is just go in here and I'm going to paint uh, the blaster and the gloves, those kind of half gloves that come through the armor, uh, we're going to paint those up in the Eschen Gray. Now I don't want to have too thick of paint on here, so you'll see that a lot of that white is still showing through. So I'll do a second coat of the gray on there. We'll also go after any of the any of that kind of under armor a kind of tunic that goes underneath there. I will do that as well. So under the armpits, there's like this little T gap that happens in there. Oh man, this is looking so messy. Okay, we'll do the T gap under there. We'll also sneak a little bit into the recess down here. And if we're sloppy, that's fine. We're coming back. Now with the helmet, I'm just going to sneak a little bit in the eyes like that. And then we're going to do this bend across the top. So just nice steady hands and we'll work our way across. Using our commander to illustrate the face here, uh, we'll get that little T kind of snout part of the mask at the bottom. We'll also do the holster here, if the models have one. Not only will we get the DLT-19 here, but we'll get the uh, his backpack here as well. We'll just coat that whole backpack in the Eschen Gray. All right, and then finally we'll get the HH12 and we'll do him, like the whole weapon in the Eschen Gray as well. All right, so we've got our messy white <laughs> and we've got our two coats of the Eschen Gray on, so that deeper gray. Now, um, obviously it looks very gray, but it is starting to def define the models a little bit, which is nice. And um, I guess we're going to get back to the wash now, and now we're going to wash all the gray bits. So anything that we want, kind of that gray black, uh, we're gonna apply the wash to. So we're gonna apply the wash to our DLT-19 guy first. He's kind of got the most uh, kind of washable stuff and uh, again the same wash that we used uh, previously uh, but I'm just going to go in here now and get his gloves and anything that I would like uh, black and you can see that it sinks in right away and it very much takes on the look of uh, black with an edge highlight to it all right so um, it will pull up obviously and there we go we'll We'll make sure that we take care of that. We'll also bring out the detail in his pack here by giving it a nice wash. We'll do the blaster and the holster here. 
Now I'm going to let this dry and to get that extra level of kind of darkening there, um, I'm going to go in with a second um, a second wash after this is dried. So I'll give it about 40 minutes or so and then I'll come back in and I'll do it again. And I'll go across anything that is gray, uh, including the undersuit here, um, everything basically that we have in the dark gray. And we'll just wash it one more time to really tamp it, tamp it down. All right, so we've got that gray all washed up now and it's added a load of depth. You'll see that again, the blasters are not necessarily a uh, black so much as they are a like a very dark kind of low lighted gray. Um, so we get to see lots of detail. Now, there's a lot of shine that comes off of the uh, floor wax and some of the washes, uh, you name it, but we're going to be hitting this with a purity seal, which is, uh, uh, it's kind of a matte semi-gloss kind of sealant and that'll tamp down a ton of that uh, gloss and shine. So let's move beyond the shine a little bit here and let's uh, move into kind of the final, the final steps of our, of our stormtroopers. So I'm going to apply white scar now and we're just going to be working back uh, the bulk of the main panels. Um, the kind of larger surface areas, chest plates, things like that. And we're going to be working uh, a bulk of that back uh, into white. Okay, so there's going to be two steps to this uh, primarily. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is take our white and just go over, and I'm just using the brush at an angle or kind of that front edge of the brush, go over those main elements of the armor. You can see immediately that it starts to clean it up. And then we'll go in again and we'll just kind of paint back in uh, the white, leaving a little bit of that depth on the inside. So we don't want these guys looking like they were just freshly washed with a bunch of, uh, well, wash, I guess. Um, but we wanna make sure that we just kind of work our way towards the edge without actually going into the edge there. Now, if you have a little bit left over, that's fine. It provides a little bit of shade, but it is a really nice way to kind of do this and it looks, uh, it'll look pretty solid when we're done. So this way you get the shading in, but you don't get, um, you know, you don't get these harsh, harsh lines, uh, you know, of wash that are in there. And you can take your time with this. You can just kind of block your way in and just, just go super careful. Now this will still go quite fast, I think. It'll be, it'll be pretty good. Now for these details on the back, the markings on the back, I uh, just use the angle, that kind of front third of your brush and just, just kind of over brush. So just a wet dry brush essentially, those details. Now on the helmet on the back, we've got a little bit of extra texture here. So I'm just gonna highlight kind of that raised area, leaving that detail deep inside there. There we go. And now remember, these guys we didn't want too dirty. We wanted them fairly, uh, fairly clean. So I'm just going to work my way around and get fairly close to the edge. But I'm going to build up those main areas of color on the larger pieces. Now with the helmets, if you just, if you just take your time and kind of build up the colors as you need them especially for that first one until you kind of figure out the rhythm of it. Uh, just take your time, just kind of keep building it up. It's a lot easier to add more than it is to, to take it away. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you just keep building up your colors. Uh, just carefully use thin down paints. You don't have to be super watery, but just make sure that you got lots of control over what's going on. And if it takes a second, that's fine. Just come back and just keep adding to it and it'll, it'll build up slowly over time. Okay, so we've got the white all sorted out essentially now. Um, we just uh, went in and just kind of, you know, did the did, did the nice thin layers of white. And then if I got too much into one of the crevices, I just went back with a little bit of wash. And I kind of went back and forth until I was essentially happy with the, with the results. So the next thing I'm going to be working on now is the Abaddon Black. And um, with the blasters, we just started with the Eschen Gray and then washed them down and let the wash kind of do the black with the Eschen Gray still remaining as the highlight, which is kind of a cool, uh, fast, easy technique. But for some of the larger surface areas, that doesn't quite work. 
So for things like the pack and the uh, missile launcher here and even the holster on the commander leader guy here, um, we're going to be taking a little bit of a bat in black and we're just going to go and do that subtractive edge highlighting. And the reason we're doing that is just because it's a much easier and faster way as opposed to just highlighting uh, all the different pieces. So on any of the flat surfaces here, I'm just going to go in with a bit of a bat in black and leave the edges uh, still intact. So it'll look like we started with the black and then just edge highlighted the Eschen Gray on. So I'll continue on with that. And when we're uh, done that one, we'll also do it with the pack here at the back. And just kind of doing an overbrush, leaving that edged highlight all around in there. And you'll see it looks a lot more like we've we've actually just painted it as black and then highlighted it with the gray. And then any of the other large format pieces like the holster here, we'll just do that with the black as well. You can even touch up a little bit of the under armor there if you wanted to. But essentially we're just going to be filling it in but we're going to leave that highlight around the edge. Now with the squad leader here, um, that little uh, pad, that leadership symbol on the side here, that little pauldron, that little kind of flare of color, uh, we can do any kind of different color. And uh, I would suggest actually for each of your different squads to do uh, different colors if you have multiples. Now I'm going to stick a little bit with the classic Star Wars here just for this example. So I'm going to use uh, Troll Slayer Orange, but you can use reds or blues or what have you. And I'm just going to do his panel on the side there in a nice thin coat of uh, Troll Slayer Orange here. So as I'm working my way around here, I'll make sure that I get uh, two thin coats. You can see that the little bit of wash that was left over there is still coming through. So uh, just two thin coats of your uh, squad color will do the trick. And oh man, it's gonna look nice and bright and contrasty on the field, it's gonna be great. All right, so our friends are looking pretty sharp here. Um, the last thing I wanna do, and this is optional, I suppose, but the last thing I wanna do is go after the uh, the recesses and the kind of the gaps in armor, things like that, and give a final low light uh, by black lining with a Micron pen here. Now, these are available at any hobby store and uh, they, you know they're, they're not crazy cheap, but um, they sure add a, such a huge dramatic effect to the model. And I pretty much do this with, with all the models that I paint, so. Uh, I'm going to take my Micron uh, 005 here, the, the smaller one. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick out any areas where two textures kind of meet. So you'll see that there's a low light here. Uh, I'll just go in and run this black line just inside of that. So now we get the two tone here of the, or sorry, I guess three tones of the white, then the wash, then the black line. And all I'm going to do is wherever there's a recess, uh, I'm just going to go and I'm going to apply that black line. So anywhere that two um, two textures meet, uh, anywhere that um, you know there's 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 a, a recess line in here, I'll just go after it. And all it does is provide that last little bit of final polish to the model here. Okay. So I'll go over the model here. Um, uh, you know, usually it's wherever two colors meet as well, but we've got black and we've got white, so it's uh, it's an easy one this time around. But uh, I'm just gonna work my way around and I'm just going to just literally, every time there's a little bit of a recess here, I'm just going to accentuate it with that, with that Micron pen. All right, so we've got the black lining all done and I went ahead and based up uh, all the bases here in that kind of grasslands format. I'll put a link to the basing method in the end card there. And uh, yeah, so the black lining's all done, the bases are done, and when you add the bases, it really goes a long way to kind of framing that white and making that white stand out. So it's definitely an important part of the, uh, kind of the finishing elements of the model there. So uh, digging the models, I think they turned out great. Uh, I went a little heavy on the black lining and all that, and I think from really up close, it, uh, it looks a little heavy handed. However, when you see it on the table and you're pulled back about, you know, about a foot and a half, two feet away, 
uh, you can definitely see that it makes a massive um, difference in terms of contrast on the table. They really stand out and you can see all the detail that's on them. So uh, a little bit on the theater makeup side of things, but I really like the, I really like the look and feel of it. I'm also really liking the 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 weapon systems. You know, we got a little bit of variety. The, the posing is great. I'm um, really digging the models. I love the way the orange contrasts against the the white and the black and the base itself there. So again, another kind of piece to stand out for the squad. So you'll be able to identify them on the table. Super easy and uh, just in general, lots of fun. Like they, they're stormtroopers. I mean, it's amazing. So, uh, but that's it for this video. Um, I, I really, really enjoyed putting these guys together. I really enjoyed painting them. This was a, a ton of fun. So I hope when you guys do your projects, it's as much fun for you guys. Um, if you like the video, obviously hit that like button. It helps to get the video out there a ton. It helps the channel get some uh, kind of recognition with the YouTube algorithms and all that. So smash that like button if this was of interest to you. And if you want more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button uh, if you haven't already and there's a little notification icon on there as well which will give you notifications of all of our future videos so uh, I just want to say thanks again for watching guys and we'll catch you in the next video